happens even if I'm the last in. Stay tall. You're very excited. Why are you so very excited? Oh, <laughs> oh whoa! Fancy seeing you here, boys. Shh. <laughs> okay. Ah, let's try this again. Hello. Welcome to another one of buddies. One of these things, right? Welcome to another one of these things. I thought I would make a little video because there's just been so much going on with the holiday season and I feel like we really haven't had a time to like sit back and kind of enjoy. I just feel like it's been so wonderful spending time with family, but it's just been go, go, go and no rest. So Jeremy actually just left the house and I thought it would be kind of a fun idea to bake his favorite cookies. We actually haven't baked them in so long, or rather I haven't baked them in so long. So I kind of wanted to surprise him uh, when he came home today with that. They're super yummy. They're these oatmeal cookies and he is going to freak. Guys, I made the rookiest move. I literally pulled up to the grocery store, was about to walk out of my car, attempted to grab my purse and realized that it wasn't there. Um, I was just so excited to make Jerry these cookies that I kind of ran out of the house because I don't know how long he's going to be gone. And I forgot a very important item. Um, anyways, that's probably just me to forget their wallet or go to the grocery store, but we're gonna give this whole thing a take two, so stay tuned. Yeah, so I got all the goods. I was a little embarrassed to bring the camera in the store, so that's why I didn't do it. But we have everything, and then I'm gonna head back to the house and we can start baking. So. I have returned back from the store. I have all the yummy ingredients and we're gonna start baking. <laughs> we have all the ingredients out. I literally had to buy everything at the store today because we just moved into our house and we literally didn't even have sugar. But that's besides the point. So I first have got to preheat this bad boy at 375 and now we can get started. The recipe calls for a cup of granulated sugar, sugar cup of packed sugar and then I'll stick the butter in first. Okay, sugar, butter, and then eggs. Cause I'm gonna put the wet ingredients first and then we'll do the dry stuff afterwards. So one, one cup of sugar. Whoops. More sugar is better, right? Probably. Jake, watch out. Okay, okay. Do you want to taste the sugar? <gasps> Can dogs eat sugar? Oh, that might be okay. Okay, one cup of granulated sugar, one cup of packed brown sugar. <laughs> Buddy boy, it's okay. Okay, another cup of this stuff. intermission cup of this I am getting stuff everywhere oh my gosh okay should I pack it down yeah let's pack it down okay one cup of that teaspoon of vanilla one cup of softened butter two eggs so I'm gonna stick the eggs in first so that the sugar can start to dissolve One teaspoon of vanilla. I just got the one from Publix, it's kind of cute. One teaspoon of vanilla. <laughs> Jakers. Jake sees a lizard. <laughs> um, and then let's do the butter in there. This one's pretty soft. Jake! 
cake, it's okay. And then we are going to blend it all up. We have all the wet ingredients, and so I'm gonna blend them all up like the sugar. Making cookies, making bacon, making teaspoon of baking soda. Ooh, the timer's done. Baking soda. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I got cinnamon powder, so I hope it's okay. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Oh, I love the smell of cinnamon. One of my favorite essential oils to diffuse is uh, something called Thieves, which is like a blend of cinnamon and a variety of other spices. Um, I think it's the brand like Spark Naturals. It is the freaking best. Brown cinnamon. Should make a song? Just kidding, that doesn't sound like anything. Whenever I bake, I always think of um, the making pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Um, but now we're making cookies, making bacon cookies. <laughs> Fun fact, the only time I've actually ever watched Adventure Time was when Jeremy and I went to the premiere for like the very last episode in theaters. I have not watched hardly any of Adventure Time, so maybe I should probably get on that. And now for some baking powder. So a half a teaspoon of baking powder. And a half a teaspoon of salt. Less I'm gonna blend that together first, and then I'm gonna add the oats and the flour last, and then we can freaking get these in the oven. Last but not least, we have our quick cooking oats and uh, some all-purpose flour. I believe it's three cups of the oats. I was right. See, three cups of oats. <laughs> we are on number two that I just put in, and we have the third. So good. Jeremy's gonna be so excited. And now, officially, last but not least, the flour. Two cups of flour. Okay, now I'm gonna blend all this together and then these guys are almost ready to go into the oven. So now I'm gonna put some parchment paper on this little tray and then I'm going to roll these little guys into some lovely little balls with my handy dandy scooper. Making pancakes, making bacon pancakes, making cookies, making bacon cookies. This first batch is ready to go into the oven. I mean, everyone has to have a dance party while baking cookies, right? So. I'm gonna go dance with Finn and Jake. Hey, do you wanna dance? Holy glorious. These look amazing. Okay, Jared just texted me saying he was on his way home in just a few, but I had to try it before he comes. I did so good. I'll make sure I actually have the entire recipe for you in the description of the video, but let's see. I think Jeremy should be home any second. Hey, baby. Hello. I made you something. I could, oh, my finger. Oh. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> uh, by the smell, I'm gonna assume that they're oatmeal cookies? <laughs> yeah, I made the oatmeal cookies. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, uh, can I have one? Yeah, you can have one. What do you think? Very good. So Catherine didn't need a recipe, you wanted a recipe. <laughs> so Jerry, give me the full rundown. Chef Jeremy, giving my judgment on Chef Carolyn right now. So, 
And this is a cookie that I've made for a long time. And my mother before me. This is a legacy to these cookies, okay? This isn't just like a find a little recipe, although we did find a little recipe in someone else's cookbook. But that's besides the point. It's our recipe now, even if it was once Betty Crocker's. But credit where credit's due. Thanks, Betty Crocker. Anywho, he's gotten really good at making these. I've gotten really good at making these. Which is what I'm getting to. Carolyn <laughs> has gotten really good at making these. Not gonna lie, first time she made it, it was not quite in the range of where I'd like it to be. I am so butthurt right now. But that's okay, because now she has gotten to the quality that is awesome, which is a nice exterior that's kind of, not hard, but firm, you know, just to get that little crunch when you bite in, but then there's that gooey molten core that is just, mwah, chef's kiss. It is just as good as the ones I make, nay, might even be better. So good job, babe. I haven't made one this good in a long time, so. So are you surprised? No, I'm very surprised. I'm very happy. Thank you. You're welcome. This was quite the adventure of uh, baking cookies and surprising Jeremy. So it's been real fun. It's been super fun. It's been tasty. It's been tasty. Come again soon, if you desire. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>